We're gonna jump straight into the video on how to save your TikTok videos. I'm gonna be giving you guys three different ways you could choose from. Timestamps for each of them are gonna be down below. At the time of filming this, the government has not decided if they're banning TikTok or not, and they're giving us absolute whiplash. You can repurpose your content incredibly easy, and I'm gonna show you how today. And before we get into this video, please make sure to like this video and subscribe. It helps this channel out a lot. Now, the first way I'm gonna show you guys how to save your data from TikTok is through TikTok themselves. They have made it accessible for you to go in on your desktop, sign into TikTok, and download all of your data, your posts, everything that is you through TikTok. At the beginning of the ban, they are going to put up a screen explaining what happened in the ban, explaining why you can no longer scroll through TikTok, and then there will be an option to download all of your data. And there will also be links for your Congress people to reach out to them and reverse this horrible decision from the US government. So let me show you exactly how to do it. The first thing you're gonna do is you're going to be opening up whatever browser you use, Safari, Google Chrome, Firefox, whatever you use. And you're going to head to your TikTok account and you're going to sign in in the top right corner. When you are signed in, you're gonna see your picture. You're going to click settings. And this is the really easy part because when you get here, it's right there. There's no scrolling, no extra places to go. You're gonna click data and decide what you want. Um, you feel free to do all data because the file is incredibly small. You would think, oh, my video is gonna be so long, but actually it's just a lot of text if you choose the text version. So you're going to want to request your data. Now it does take around five minutes right now to get your data back, but once it's ready, you're going to click download. This is what it looks like. As you can see, I did it last year too. You're gonna to click download and it's gonna be ready after you put your password in and it's gonna come into your downloads looking like this. You're gonna click the zip file and here are all the different things you have, your activity, your DMs, your income, your posts, your profile, everything. You're going to open up the text file and the first thing right here when you say link is copy and paste that into your browser again and your video will be right there for you to download. I don't love this way because if you have a video from 2020, it's gonna be really hard to know what it is without going through this whole process. But once your video is downloaded, as you can see, you could just open it and the quality is there. It can be airdropped to your phone or whatever you wanna do with it. The second way I'm gonna show you how to do this today is through my personal favorite, savett.cc. It is a website that I use all the time to go ahead and download my videos. It is singular though. You're downloading video by video. Before TikTok actually had the feature to save videos without a watermark, I've used this and I still use this for old videos that I uploaded that aren't saved to my phone. So because this is my favorite way to do it, I'm going to show you guys how to do it right now. This is my absolute favorite way to do this. And of course, when I wanna show you, it gives me the least problems it usually gives me, but I'll give you a warning of what they are. So you're gonna head to your TikTok page and choose the video that you wanna save and copy the link. And then we're going to go to savett.cc and here it'll pop up. Now I've never used the paste button, so it's gonna say invalid paste. That button right there, I never use it. I just click the white part usually and paste it. You can also access this on your webpage, which I didn't even know until today if you're using your computer. So yeah, I just click the white, press paste and search it. Now it's gonna pop up pretty immediately as long as it is a public link like your page is not private and you're going to click download usually an ad pops up right here maybe they're just like sis uses all the time please just take your video <laughs> so you're going to make sure you click the download button and on the bottom there's going to be a download down arrow you're going to click it and then click downloads it'll be right there and you're going to save it it's a lot of steps but it's the easiest way i've found to do this and then you are going to go to your photos once you save it from here you're going to save it to your photos and it's right there So now I'm gonna be showing you guys the third option, which I personally don't use. I used to use way back in the day, but again, I found the website, which was easier for me. This one is called SaveTick. This is the app that people are obsessed with to download. I personally think that it's not required for you to pay anything to save a TikTok video, and you don't. it's just not necessary at this point. But a lot of people love it, and I don't wanna discredit it, so I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. The first thing you're gonna to want to do is open Save Tick itself. Now, when you open this, it does not require you to have a login or some kind of personalized thing. There are so many ads, though, it's very annoying. Again, not really necessary when you can get it for free. So we are going to close out of the ad. In, in case this isn't clear, this video is not sponsored. I'm just trying to show you how to use this app. Oh my gosh, I cannot close it. There we go. So the premium feature does claim that it removes the watermark from your video, no ads, download HD, but I'll let you know this right now. Your videos won't have a watermark on them when you paste them and use them. So 
I've never used the feature either of a photo link or username. I didn't know I could just add my username. We're going to try that. Stella Cottrell. Let's see. Hey, that is really cool, actually. That's a cool feature. You could just go to your username, click a video, and download it. But I'm going to show you guys another way to do it if you don't know the usernames. So you're going to paste it. You're going to press find. And it's going to find the video. Now, it's going, you're going to want to save it HD, but it's going to be behind a paywall. And also, remember, they're trying to get you by saying, oh, there's going to be a watermark. There won't be. Let me show you. So we're not going to buy premium. It's like $60 for a lifetime. So we're going to just press save. Probably going to get another ad. Of course. Hey, this actually looks fun. They are not giving me $50. This is so predatory. Oh, I have 15 seconds in the bottom. So either way, I got to wait. I'm not cashing out your fake 300. This is really bad. We watched a show about gamblers and I became really intrigued. Right, my husband's right here, right. Uh, babe, they're trying to say you're gonna get $336 right now for playing a 15 second ad. Some predatory game. Anyway, I don't wanna play your game. Okay, so next it's downloading and it's saved. And now they're trying to get you to go premium. All right, and here is our video. We're gonna watch it in its entirety. I'm pretty, yeah, there's no watermark. Sometimes they do add watermarks to the end. So just watch your videos. Yeah, there was no watermark. And you could just crop it if there's like weird watermarks in the video. So that's it. It really is that simple, straight to the point. Let me know which one you use or which one's your favorite. I think that again, savett.cc has always been my OG girl. So I'm just a creature of habit. And if you are watching this before the TikTok ban, I am so sorry on behalf of the US government, not that I represented by them or anything, but that there's just so much whiplash around this whole ban. It is so much uncertainty for creators. We have the Trump administration, the Biden administration fighting about who's taking credit for bringing TikTok back. When both of them had said, we don't need TikTok in America, it is all so intense. And I would encourage you guys to continue to diversify yourself if you are a creator, or even if you just wanna have fun on other apps like as of right now, Red Note, Neptune, Flip, Instagram, YouTube. I just definitely recommend that you diversify yourself everywhere. We are in really uncertain times just with the internet, but it just should show you how fragile this whole thing is. And I really applaud anyone who's through all of this confusion, just putting themselves out there and taking the risk to create content. So keep showing up, keep applying yourself to these apps. Neptune actually just shouted me out today on Instagram, which I thought was so nice. They reposted my video for me. Again, that is the app I am the most excited about in the future. As of right now, that app will be launching in the spring. So get your content prepared for the app right now so you can have a really strong start. I will link the Discord down below so you can go ahead and reserve your handle. If you're watching this before the app actually launches, if you've watched this in the weird, way future then it won't make sense but thank you guys if you liked this video if you found this helpful please like this video and now on red note i know everyone wants to go to red note but as of today january 16th they're already talking about banning red note too it's way too much so i'm glad we made some chinese friends along the way <laughs> if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe it helps my channel out so much and i can and i'm truly honored to be able to help you save your tiktok videos and i hope you have a wonderful day bye bye you want to say bye birkin <laughs> She's so shiny. All right, bye, you guys. Tokyo.